In 2007, gas and oil deposits were discovered off the coast of the West African country of Ghana, and it didn't take long before this newfound wealth was brought to the surface. However, it doesn't follow that the discovery of oil in a country automatically leads to a better life for the people. On the contrary, corruption, environmental damage, a heated up economy and conflicts could mean that natural resources become more of a curse than a blessing. When we discovered oil, we realized that there was need to improve our institutional and human resource capacity in the oil and gas sector very fast. Norwegian expertise in the management of oil resources is in much demand. Through the aid program Oil for Development, Norway shares its experiences with new oil producing nations. The Ghanaian authorities were quick to get in touch with Norway for advice and cooperation. The cooperation for oil development with uh, Norway, for me, has been God sent. It's something that we have really benefited from. You know, Norway has been able to provide the assistance we need as early as we want it. We are made, you know, to know that we are in the driver's seat. We take the decisions and then we ask for assistance. We are not compelled to do anything. It's been like a perfect match. The, um... To formulate legislation suited to the new actualities of being an oil and gas producer has been especially important. It's been a hands-on process. I have learned a lot. Um, we've had a number of work sessions in Ghana and in Norway. Um, we've tried to do this um, in a way that it would also be a capacity building uh, process. And it's going to really enhance petroleum activities in the country and we are extremely proud of, of that. In addition to good legislation, Oil for Development works on increasing the knowledge and competence of the countries they work in partnership with related to safe extraction and income management through training and advice. One important area is storage and analysis of seismic and other data. This ensures that Ghana has the expertise required to be responsible for and have control of its own natural resources. Work that they also did this uh, data. Cooperation is vital. Kojo Agbenor Efunam from the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, has met with Norwegian colleagues many times here in Trondheim to discuss how best Ghana can extract oil in a way least harmful to the environment. Yes, onwards, going forward, the challenges uh, that uh, I foresee is uh, how to recruit and then uh, maintain a caliber of uh, staff that uh, understand the petroleum industry and also are committed to ensuring that the environmental laws and the processes that we have are strictly followed by the companies. That is the main challenge. Ghana has very good possibilities to turn oil production into a blessing. It is a well-functioning democracy with a free press and to people who have trust in its leaders. Now, the majority of the people are waiting impatiently for a share in the oil wealth. I would say that for me, the joy is that the younger ones, the youth who are coming up now, are all craving to be a part of this whole um, finding. So people are now venturing into courses or various studies that has to do with oil. People are learning and people have the desire to learn. So once that is um, achieved, the individual Ghanaian will also stand to benefit.